think biology is really interesting because it is kind of a problem solving job. I think it's really interesting that you can have these proximate biology courses where you're working with your hands and then also theoretical biology courses where you're looking at theories of evolution. And it's really cool that you have this really diverse mix of subjects in one stream or one major. So I think the SFU biology department is the most well-rounded biology department in that you not only take lectures and labs, but you take like intro classes in biology and statistics and computer science. So it kind of gives you real world applications for, you know, postgraduate school or applying for jobs in the future, which is something that a lot of other universities don't really focus on. I think my department is really caring about teaching, right? That we focus a lot on what would help the students succeed, not just in our courses and getting good marks, but as far as being able to grow and get the skills that they need in order to succeed afterwards to be able to you know, think like scientists, to problem solve and be confident that they can solve any problem they need. I think the biology department at SFU really stands out in access to professors specifically. Um, I think relative to Canada, the biology department is a little bit smaller, which is really nice for me because I'm now on my second term of working with a professor that I met in first year actually. Um, with a class of not 500 students, but 100 students. So if it was such a big class, I would not have, you know, the time to speak to the professor and get to know them. Yes, I think what makes SAP special to me is that um, it's a small enough place that you can feel seen, right? You're, you're not lost amongst a whole bunch of buildings, right? You, you will run into people you, you know all the time and they, they are, it's a small enough place that you have friendly faces, but it's not so small that you don't have access to the things you need. So I think it's as small as it can be while still being, uh, being everything you need from a university, right? And that makes it feel safer. It makes it feel like a place where you can go to and not be overwhelmed, right? And where you have the supports and you'll see the supports in the hallway all the time, every week. Um, it's also a really welcoming place to get some research experience as well from your profs and from the grad students to work with them to actually you know, start doing research really early in your careers. What gets me excited about the future once I graduate from SFU is just speaking to people that I know and have met throughout the years that have actually graduated and getting to see what cool things they've done with their SFU biology degree. Like I know some people in medical school, I know some people in postgraduate degrees, and it's just really interesting to see, you know, kind of the broad areas that people I've met along the way have done. Well, students who finish biology degree can go on to a lot of different things, right? Whether it's going to professional schools like doctors and dentists and such, but also uh, research and government jobs and uh, work with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, right? It's a lot of government jobs and nonprofit jobs, environmental jobs, a lot of different things you can get into. It's very, very broad. The student body's been changing over the years, right? Uh, despite all the groaning among my older peers about millennials, I find millennials are just full of the desire to make a change and to make uh, make a difference in their lives and it's inspiring. I, I get goosebumps thinking about it right now actually. So I, I think the student body here is, is quite wonderful actually and then they're very very warm to each other and to, and to us as educators. So I, I love our students. <laughs>